Hi everyone, in this video we will continue the same Excel sheet that I have already explained you in my previous video, mean, median, mode. But in this video, what we are going to define range, variance and standard deviation. But before starting this, I just want to uh, explain you what do you mean by range, what do you mean by variance and what do you mean by standard deviation. I have taken same Excel sheet that is section A, section B and section C. These are my students, those have scored their marks. So only 15 students marks I have taken from section A, section B and section C. So what we have to do, first of all, we understand what do you mean by term range. Range means the difference between the lowest and highest value. For example, in this pool, you can see 4, 6, 9, 3, 7. These are the five numbers. So the to lowest value is 3 and the highest value is 9. So range would be 9 minus 3. That would be 6. That, that is the meaning of the range. Now we will, first of all, let me calculate this range. I will show you, suppose we want to check this range, what is the maximum number? So what I will do, simply I will put a formula over here. Let me bigger this. And uh, simply we will write uh, max. And now we will select it. And now we will select all these data set. In this data set, I just want to know what is the maximum number. So this is my maximum number, 77.5. And I just want to know what is the minimum number. So simply I will put right minimum and I will click here. Then again, I will select the same data set and I want to know what is the minimum number. So this is 35 is the minimum number. And same way from section B also, from section C also, we can get to know. And what we have to do simply, we can, we, we, we will scroll this and you can see 89, 89, that is the um, this one is the maximum number in this data set and same in this data set. But what about the minimum number? Then we can see 32 is the minimum number in section B and in section C minimum number is 34.5. Now we want to know range. So what we have to do range means this maximum number minus this minimum number. So what I will do 42.5 that is the range and same way we can calculate this range from each section. Mean, median and mode I had already calculated in my previous video. Now what I want to know what do you mean by term variance. So variance means first of all we understand variance basically measure of variability it is calculated by taking the average of standard deviation from the mean first of all we are going to calculate average of standard deviation from the mean so variance cell you the degree of spread in your data set and suppose we have data set 3581 you can see this is the one of the example 3581 and we want to find the population variance. So mean is 3 plus 5 plus 8 plus 1 divided by 4. So what is our mean? 4.25. And definition of the variance means that mean, this one is the number 3 minus mean value whole square plus 5 is the second number minus mean value then whole square plus 8 minus mean value whole square plus 1 minus 4.25 whole square and divided by 4. So that is our variance 6.68. So variance is you understand how we are going to calculate variance. And variance is a statistical measurement used to determine how far each number is from the mean and from every other number in the set. So you can calculate the variance by taking the difference between each point and the mean. So then square and the average the result. The term variance refers to a statistical measurement of the spread between numbers in a data set. More specifically, variance measures how far each number in the, in the set is from the mean and thus from every other number in the set. Variance is often depicted by this symbol, right? This is the symbol of variance.
So now what we have to do, we are going to calculate variance also, range we have done. Now we come to the standard deviation. What do you mean by standard deviation? Standard deviation is a statistic and measures the dispersion of a data set data set relative to its mean and is calculated as the square root of the variance. The standard deviation is calculated as the square root of variance by determining each data point's deviation relative to the mean. So standard deviation measures the spread of the data about the mean value. It is useful in comparing set of data which may have the same mean but a different range. But for example, the mean of the following two is the same 15, 15, 15, 14, 16 and 2, 7, 14, 12, 30. However, the second is clearly more spread out. So we can check, I mean, what is the standard deviation? Might be possible data set is same. Which one is have bigger standard deviation? Which one has smaller standard deviation? So now what we have to do, we will run the both these things variance as well as standard deviation in the Excel sheet. So now what I have to do, first of all, I just want to calculate standard deviation. So simply what I will do from this formula, right, STD, EVA, right, and we will select the data set and after that we will press enter. Again, I'm showing you what I will do is standard deviation equal sign, right, and I will press simply STD. EVA standard deviation right I am going to select this and I would select this the entire data set and uh, after that I just press close the bracket and enter so now you can see standard deviation but when we talk about the variance variance means square root mean right here is the the standard deviation you can see here so now what I will do I am just deleting this number now I am just showing you here is what we have to do. What we have to do, simply we will take variance. And this is the variance, right? And I will put these values, bracket close. Now, please, I would enter. No, I think there is one problem. Then I am going to... This is the standard deviation. When we talk about the variance means simply we will go to WAR variance and uh, simply what we have to do variance of we can take it of this number right and after that we will close close this bracket then now the 156.603 that is our variance so you understand how we can calculate this standard deviation and variance right and if suppose you want to calculate the standard deviation through this variance you can also calculate through this variance your standard deviation how you have to do let's say i'm writing just a standard deviation and i just want to know square root mean of this right because standard deviation is the square root mean of this variance and simply i will put this and you can see the same number right same number that was calculated through our data set but this standard deviation we had calculated through we have calculated through this variance, right? So I'm sure that number, that number is same. So I'm sure you understand how we can define term range, variance, and standard deviation, how we have to calculate. Thank you and keep watching.